This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction Behavioral theory proposes that people are driven into doing things not by inner forces, but by the external factors surrounding them. This theory proposes that human functioning is intricately related to personal and environmental factors. Personal factors include traits and instincts, among other motivational forces, while environmental factors are the situational influences that affect the behavior of an individual. The development of human behavior is constrained by several factors to which it has been exposed. A family is one of the agents of socialization, and it is essential in molding children's behavior. However, this has not been the case for me. Being brought up by a relative is not the same as being brought up by one's parents. It shows the insignificance of the family unit and does not instill the required behavior in a child. Discussion According to the behavioral theory, behaviors are acquired from the surrounding environment. I can say that the behavior I acquired is highly influenced by how I was raised. Being brought up by a single parent who was not there when I needed her most taught me to be irresponsible. At this tender age, I developed a don't care behavior because that is what my parents showed me. My mom remarried after some time, and even if my stepdad was not so nasty, it was too late for me to experience fatherly love. I had already developed the perception that my father was terrible, and this has continued to affect my behavior even today. Even after having my own family, I was not able to support them and deserted them when they needed me most. I would really want to have a happy family, but the things I have gone through keep pulling me down. For instance, I have a sister who is 10 years older than me, but we have never lived together as siblings. We have had a good relationship though, but just that. The only way we get to talk to each other is over the phone since we live far from each other. I have seen this affect the relationship I have with my family, though I have a good relationship with my three daughters, I am not able to live with them under the same roof. My love for their mother faded away, and no matter how hard she tried for us to get back together, I just did not want to. It is through the behavioral theory that I have come to understand my behavior. There are moments I thought I was cursed, but this study has helped me a great deal. My mom was out of my life for 15 years, and I can say it was not easy living with my aunt. First, you are being ridiculed by other children telling you that your parents do not love you, and that's why they have given you up to be taken care of by your aunt. You suffer both physically and psychologically, and this influences your behavior. Acquired behavior can eat away some of the excellent behavior attributes we have. For instance, I know I am a person who loves to joke and have fun, although I have not been able to do this. I find myself in depressing situations and don't have friends I can count on. No matter how hard I try to be friendly, I find myself holding back because I am constantly tormented by what I have gone through. Being brought up by divorced parents has really affected my life. No matter how hard I try to be happy, I am not able to achieve it. The only thing I love at the moment is my job, I work for Best Buy as a supervisor and enjoy it. After parting ways with my wife, I tried another relationship, but it failed, and I am now single. My girlfriend left me after dating for almost one and a half years, claiming that I didn't treat her well. I agree with her, but I cannot help it. I just do not know what to do because I do not even know what it means to treat someone well. I have never seen my parents treat each other well, and therefore, I do not have anyone to emulate. I am really trying to change and maintain a good relationship with my former girlfriend. Behavioral theory proposes that an individual's behavior depends on an individual intention to perform the behavior. It is not always the case that behavior is influenced by external forces. An individual's attitude determines his intention, which in turn influences his behavior. Through research, it has been found that intention is the most critical variable that influences changes in behavior. 
This means that an individual's behavior is primarily influenced by his, her personal motivation. This perception has helped me understand why I always end up in debt. I have formed the habit of buying new things, especially if the price is a bargain. At times, I do not have enough money for the purchases, and I always end up borrowing. I borrow money from people who I know cannot refuse to give me, and I have therefore developed the behavior of taking advantage of people's kindness. What I have experienced in life has influenced my determination to work hard. I have lived a life that has taught me to be independent, and I have to work hard to excel in life. The hardships I have gone through have increased my levels of self-efficacy and raised my confidence. After completing my high school education, I pursued a business administration course and later took a four-year course in business management. I am currently going for my master's online in psychology, and I am still in the race. Conclusion In conclusion, I can say that behavioral theory has really helped me understand who I am and why I behave the way I do. There are times I wondered why I did some things, but this theory has helped me a great deal. Through this lesson, I have learned that a change in behavior may, at times, prove to be difficult, given the type of orientation one has been exposed to. I was brought up by my aunt and did not have much parental love that I can boast of. My parents divorced when I was still very young, and I didn't spend much time with them. Having known this, I am ready to change for the better and will not let my past experiences influence who I want to be. It is not my choice that I was brought up the way I was, but I can shape my future and that of my future generation. If you want to find more works like this essay on behavioral theory of personality, head over to ivypanda.com. It has a collection of free samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects. No registration required to access it.